now we are going to start waterfall chart so click on the visuals of waterfall chart here i am going to take profit because profit sometime increasing sometime decreasing so that is the reason instead of sales right now i would like to take the profit so drag profit to the y axis you can see here these three different colors it is showing green is for increasing red one is for decreasing and total will be shown in the blue color okay now we have got different sub categories of the product that i am going to put in the category and here is the waterfall chart is ready for us you can see all products are giving profit except these three so you can see tables book cases and supplies these three products are giving us loss so red color you can see and very less profit we are getting from these products and high profit we are getting by copier phones and so on so this is what waterfall chart let us go to next chart now after waterfall chart we have got this funnel chart funnel chart is also very good representation for understanding where my data is high where my data is low and how the trends are changing in order to understand we can go for funnel chart so for funnel chart i'm going to take sub category and sales so take the sales put it into values and in the category i am going to take sub categories of the product and our funnel chart is ready so we can see maximum profit we are getting by phones and then chairs and so on so very easily we can create funnel chart by just putting the like like we right now we have put sub category and the sales let us go to next next we are going to see pie chart click on pie chart in pie chart we should take those categories where data is 5 or less than 5 so categories of data are 5 or less than 5 for example ship mode we have got 3 or say zones or region we have got four regions over here so those type of categories are basically used for creating pie chart if more than five distinct values are there it becomes little difficult to understand in the pie chart so i am going to create pie chart with customer segment so there are three customer segments consumer corporate and home office and from these three segments of customer how much sales we are getting that's what i would like to find out so take the sales and put it into the values and this is the pie chart and we are able to understand very easily that consumer has got maximum sales followed by corporate and the consumer after this let me make the donut chart donut chart is also similar representation but we can have more than one donuts also possible so right now let me take this donut chart here in the donut chart i am going to take ship mode versus sales so in the legend i am going to put ship mode and i am going to take sales in the values so maximum sales we are getting by standard class followed by second class first class and 
than the same day delivery. So this is pie chart, pie and donut chart. We are going to see one more chart that is tree map. Click on this tree map. You can see here different blocks. So what it does any numerical values if we put it will divide the numerical values in the ratio in which the different entities are taking the values or contributing to the values and all these are displayed in the form of a rectangle so let me show it to you i'm going to take sales in the values and you will see this is one full block is coming right now now whatever different way you want to break it for example if i would like to know my so uh, total sales how it is coming by say product names product names are many fine thousand plus so it may not be able to show it properly so first i will take very simple ship mode we have got three so i am putting ship mode in the category and see it is going to get divided into these uh yeah four ship modes so four different part is coming over here standard class second class first class and same day delivery suppose you want to find out in the in the form of say sub category so i want to replace now ship mode with the sub category so i'm putting over here so all the sub categories now will be displayed over here fine so we can very easily see that maximum sales we have got from phones then chairs and so on so the area of this one these each block basically comes in the ratio in which the data it is contributing to fine so hope you have understood the main different type of visuals next i am going to show you how to create dashboard with it and how to do formatting so that we will be able to understand more details of the data and we should be able to tell a story from it. Thank you.